Okay, now we're going to create a new file. And this one, once again, is going to be, this is the last one we did was custom. It says custom. Here we go. And we're going to call this last name, first initial, manual, C. We want to make sure that the background contents are transparent. So we've got the preset that has 1280 by 720. The resolution is 72 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB, and the background contents are transparent. Create that file, and you want to once again create the frame animation. So the frame animation is down here. You, you can either have a video timeline or a frame animation. We want a frame animation. Click on that. Here it is, and we're going to. I'm going to make it big as the screen by double clicking on the hand tool. I'm going to select the paintbrush and we're going to draw a C in the middle. We're going to choose purple for the color. And now we're going to draw a C in the middle. There's a nice, nice sort of a C with the a personality. Now I'm going to command save to make sure that's saved. And we're going to make sure it's going into the same folder and this looks good. I will say save. And now we're going to get the move tool. So the move tool is the one that allows you to transform. You make sure that in the top title bar it says auto select layer and then it says show transform controls check mark. Okay. Now, the point of using manual transform is you're going to be using transforms to change the placement by small intervals. And each move will then be a separate, separate frame so that when they are played back at a speed, it will appear as smooth motion. This is the concept of persistence of vision the eye sees images in sequence changing quickly, and the images persist on the retina until replaced by the next image. So it will appear as smooth motion. Now I'm going to move the C, but first I'll, I'll save this first one. Command save, and then I'm going to command J, and then I'm going to move the C. And you can do it with your arrow tools. If you hold shift and press one of the arrow tools, it'll move in one direction and it won't move in any other direction. I'll command save, and then I will command J, and I will move it a little bit more. Command save, command J, and I will move it a little bit more. If you hold down shift, it makes it move and jumps. It's 10 pixel increments. Now I'm going to command J, and I'm going to rotate it. Now when you rotate it, you'll see, oh, I'm gonna lock my, I'm gonna lock my guides so that I don't accidentally move them. When you rotate, you can see up in the, in the title bar, you have this. You have This means not accept, this means accept the changes. You have to accept the changes before it lets you do anything else. And I'm going to close the eyeballs so you can just see one frame now. And I'm going to Command J. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit more. Accept it. Turn off the eyeball. Command J. You can leave as many frames or as many layers showing as you want at one time. But at a certain point, it becomes difficult to tell which one is the one you're working on. So it's, it's a good idea to turn off the eyeballs from time to time. Then you can always turn them back on. Command Save. Command J. Once again, we're aiming for about 10, but you probably go further because this ends up being a little bit more. Cancel. And J. And I'm going to rotate it back a little bit. If you hit return, it also will accept. Command J. Rotate it a little bit more back. Command save. Command J. Not the multiply, as a by person. Now it'll save. Command save. Command J. See, this is the thing. If you remember to keep accepting the changes, and, and it's so easy to skip that. And accepting the changes is not saving. Accepting the changes is just accepting the change. Okay, that looks fairly good. Now I have to move it back a little bit. Command save, command J, and I will move it back. Okay, so here they are. 
and it looks like an incredible mess. But this is this is all of the frames showing at the same time. And now we will go ahead and make frames from layers. And command save, press the space bar, it goes kind of quick. But you can see it looks like the C is actually moving on its own power. And now I'm going to select the first one, shift click on the last one, and I'm going to change the time of the delay to 0.1 second, so it's 10 frames per second. I'm going to save that, then I will go to File, Export, Render Video. Here we go, Photoshop Image Sequence, Ping, Document Size, 10, all frames and straight unmatted alpha channel. That's what we want. And we want, oh, we want to put it into its own folder. So we want to make a new folder here. We want to say manual C. Okay, so manual C is going to go in its own folder and now we will render it. Okay, and now I'm going to get that to go down and manual C is here. There we go. So those are all here. 